Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again, the Nibu page. So today we'll be talking another uh, you know important topic within Kubernetes playlist. So we have seen uh, last time what is config maps and how to use config maps in the Kubernetes world. So today we'll be looking at the alternate approach of storing the data, uh, which is known as you know Kubernetes secret. So if you're not really you know saw the earlier videos, you can quickly have a look at it. Uh, like and subscribe the channel and you, can, and you can see what are the different videos that we have created in the okay. same playlist starting with the architecture support services deployment and then we saw what are the difference between deployment and stateful set and then the important RPAC concept in kubernetes what is the daemon set what is pv and pvc i mean persistent volume and volume claims that are used for a stateful application then finally we saw config map in our last video so let's quickly jump on to the secrets in Kubernetes. Let's see how they are, uh, those are used into the you know, creating container. A quick graphical representation of uh, the same thing is, you can see config map is just a key value pairs, but however, the secret is whenever you want to store any API data, API keys, password, so all that information, you save it into the secret. And then the pod is using that information um, either in the form of environment variables or in the form of you know uh, mounting into a volume and then container uses it and then finally stores it into the hcd cluster that it is just a storing of all the you know passwords now let's quickly see the the actual practical implemented before we see it let's see how many type of uh, secrets are there okay so in kubernetes you have different kind of secrets normally people Generally, use only uh, the opaque secrets uh, because those are pretty widely used. So opaque secrets are the default secret when whenever we create anything onto the Kubernetes. It's again a key value pair. Now there are other uh, secret types also like service account token secrets, Docker on config secret. This is again very important and widely used. Suppose if we want to pull an image from Docker Hub or maybe from uh, Azure ACR or some other ACR, then we can use this, you know, Docker config uh secret also without giving access to the acr we'll see that thing uh, as a working example and then we have certain basic authentication secret ssh secrets and then tls secrets let's see all these things one by one with the help of examples let's quickly jump onto the the practical things so that we can understand in a better way okay so now this is a uh, github page that i've created it for the secrets with the working example so that it becomes easy for understanding so let's see uh, what all these so as we have uh, you know check it earlier also that config maps are actually un unchanged even if the data has been changed so secrets are always being configured whenever you run the secret file it is it will always get you know created and and on top of it we can create immutable secrets also that we'll discuss in a later detail but yeah so let's quickly see uh, how we can create our first secret okay suppose i want i want this user and this test one two three password stored into a file and then i want to create a secret i can do that also or i can create a secret using manifest also but first of all let's see how to create using the file so i'll just do a eco user and then create a file into my uh you know home into box so let me just quickly run this first command I... okay then i'll do create another file of password I see two files have been created, and then I'll create. A, when we let me see, I want to do the matrix namespace. Do I have any secrets here? No secrets. Okay, good. So I'll create a first secret here. Q serial create secret generic. This is the first secret name, and they it will take data from this and this. Okay, let me run this. Okay, so again I'll see. Yes, first secret got created, and you can see the type is opaque, which is the default secret behavior so let me see k get secret and then minus o yaml so we can see the the first is this and this is the base 64 encoded value so we can actually see the uh, decoded value also you can simply run this onto your machine echo this base 64 minus d this will decode the value so this is called user and the second one is the password now this is the first secret that has successfully been created so we will use this secret into a pod, but let's create the same secret using a manifest because we cannot run the secrets and create secrets using manually every time. We need to 
do some automation either using helm or something else so i've created a secret.yml for example where i'm creating the same secret user and password but with the help of a proper you know format so i'm creating api version as even kind of secret and the name is new secret the type is opaque which is nothing but default behavior and then this is a user and this is password so now i'll run this yaml file and we'll create a secret so i am already into the example folder i'll do lcltr secret.yml so i'll do k kubectl apply minus f secret.yml okay my secret new secret got created so i'll do a k secret okay i can see another secret got created and this is will also hold the same data but it or it got created using uh, you know manifest see the same thing but it got created it with the help of manifest now the secret is created i want to use the secret into a pod working pod so what i'll do is another you know working pod example which is using this new secret see new secret now what i'm doing just understand this uh, you know concept of creating a container so i'm creating a pod this is the name of the pod container so and this is the name of the container i'm pulling a radius image now i'm creating two environment variables within the container and i'm taking a value of secret underscore username from this secret with the key equals to username and this is password taking from this secret with key equals to password so how it is picking it up so it is actually going and then it's taking this key value pair na? username from here then password from here right taking the new secret let quickly run this piece so that we will understand what is happening so i'm again going to this i'll do a qptl apply minus f pod secret secret dot yaml okay my pod got created let me see if forget about the authentic i mean the execution of the pod but yeah pod is running now let me see whether these variables got created as environment variable inside the container so what i'll do i'll first of all get inside the container i want to check it now okay my bad i'll just change the name of the pod so i want to get inside this container okay i am inside this now i'll do a echo of that piece okay echo of username because this is an environment variable that got created so i'll do echo this see user has been created i mean user is coming this environment variable now i can use this environment variable that when so basically what secret has done it has kept your container image separately and the configuration separate so i'm passing that username and password from here from your secret and that everything remains same so this is a perfect example of moving your application from one environment to other environment where your passwords are different so that is the 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 application that is the you know i would say physical significance of using a secret so what we saw first of all we created a secret and then we saw how we use the secret into a pod and uh, using environment variables now this is the first example let's see the next example what we see okay so now i want to create a service account token secret now this is little bit orthodox matter but one matter but as a part of uh, practical understanding I'll, I'll show you so this service account token type of secret is used to store a token credentials that identify the service account now what happens sometimes uh, the service account credential needs to be saved and that needs to be passed into a pod so for that also we need to have a uh, token save should be saved in the secret so i'll do what i'll do i'll just run the secret 2.yml what is secret 2.yml the only thing which will change is you know line number seven the type if you see the type here type was opaque if you see the type type is kubernetes io dot service account token and this is just a value now let me run rest of the things are same let me run this piece so that you see the actual difference between this secret and the earlier secret that got created okay so i'll run this okay this got created i'll just come out of this container okay k get secret let me see whether the third secret got created or not okay interesting so ah uh, so this secret actually got created but it will not show you where it got created that is the 
uh, service account created so if you see this also minus a you'll not find it but you know the secret got actually you know, created anyway so i have not used it the 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 practical usage of this kind of secret but anyway uh, that is some kind of an auto of secret so let's see the next uh, type of secret which is the docker config secret that's a very very important secret that i want to explain suppose uh, uh, there is an image which is presented either in azure acr or it present in your docker hub now what you want to pull that image but your cluster is not having access to the acr or cluster is not having access to docker hub and you don't want to post uh, pass credentials over uh, there so while creating a pod so what i'll do first of all i'll store the credentials into some configuration and then i'll create a secret and then i'll use it into a pod okay so first of all i'll store my docker credentials into a uh, you know uh, into a config file so what i'll do I'll do a Docker login, which is already done some time ago. So you will see it will try to authenticate. It is already authenticated, and then this kind of file it will it will got created. So it will create into my home directory into Docker folder. I'll see this kind of file, right? So this file will be used now to create a secret. Now you can see QPT will create secret generic. Uh, this is a secret name from file. Docker config JSON. So this is the file that I'm using it, and then this is the type of the secret. So I'll run this command. I'll see uh, the secret got created. You see, now can you see this? There's another Docker config kind of secret that got created, and if I see the value, so this is the Docker config JSON that has been created. This is a base sixty four encoded of you know, data. Now this is created now i want to use this secret into this uh, uh, okay another another thing i can create the secret using uh, this manifest also so i've i'm showing both the methods so either you create a secret using manifest or you create a secret using uh, var command so since secret is created let me see the pod how we are using this secret okay yeah so this is a secret that we created some time i mean few few seconds ago this reg crd so what I'm saying, while pulling an image from this registry, this is my personal Docker registry. Please use this secret so that it will not give you an error for, or error for authentication. Normally, you know, this kind of thing is useful when you are accessing image from a private registry. Now, if it is a public registry, then it will not. This is actually not needed. But if it is private registry, then you need to pass the credentials, right? So that is the importance of passing the credentials using a secret. So what I'll do, I'll just run cube uh, CTL apply pod secret three and let me create a pod also. So cube CTL apply pod secret three basically. Now this will create a pod. Okay, so this is creating. So I'll see the event. So you can see that it's just pulling an image from uh, uh, this private uh, in registry because i have stored my credentials here so it will just successfully pull the image and then it will try to create a pod uh, using this now till the time it is coming up let me just take an example another, another example okay forget about this error this is not because of that it is uh, trying to uh, do some other thing which is not there it's trying to run a python code which is not present so this is not related to secrecy but it has successfully pulled the image so if you see the container got created and it got pulled so so basic you know importance of showing this example is we can you pull any private uh, we can pull any image from a private registry using you know passing a secret in your uh, you know pod container perfect now let me see the next implementation so what i really use i use the first two options creating secret opaque secret and then i use this config secrets you know pretty frequently and this is might be the use case in your scenario also but let's see the all implementation or all the use cases now let's see the basic authentication secret example also now you can uh, storing credentials for basic authentication when you are using the secret type data the secret must contain a username and a password key let's see the the secret tree dot yaml just nothing but the same thing but only the type got changed see it is basic auth now so let me quickly run these things. It's a matter of running. So I'll do a kubectl. 
star minus f secret is a which secret three okay so we get secret so you can see the basic auth got created four seconds ago now let's do the SSH related authentication. Suppose you want to store a SSH private key and uh, in, in string data, and that needs to be passed into a pod. You can create a SSH kind of you know secret. So you can uh, do it like this and pass SSH private key like this. Okay. So I'll again run this piece again. Now this time I'll run a secret four dot ml. I'm just showing an example how to you know use it into your uh working thing so i can see another secret got created as such auth five seconds ago now let's see the final type of secret that is a tls based secret now this is a very important secret that got created that get created within the kubernetes suppose you're using any kind of certificates you know let secret or another any other certificate that gets you know generally expired so those kind of secrets generally gets into this format and you will see it. so if you see secret 5 is nothing but tls secret and certain the key so let me run this also and then you will see the secret will got created 5 this got created and now you can see all different kind of secrets in your on your screen so you can see opaque you can see docker config you can basic auth as such auth and tls auth these are the all different kind of secret that get created within the kubernetes world now yeah that was the final secrets and we have seen all the examples also using pods so first of all we saw a pod uh, where the environment variable got used using a secret and then we saw uh, we did not saw this i mean this is nothing but a okay let me run this also pod secret 2. Now, what this pod secret 2 example is doing first of all it is creating a secret within the same yaml file uh, with name dot file secret and then the, the value is this now we are using uh, the same secret but not as an environment variable this time you can see this has been mounted the volume mount okay so what i am saying please mount a volume and uh, take the value from uh, this secret name dot file secret and then mount it inside the container and write this so let me just simply run this all just for the sake of running so that we are not missing any example kubectl apply minus f pod secret 2 yeah this was missed okay now you can see the uh, pod and secret got created so you can see kget secret another opaque got secret so more normally you'll see most of the secret will be opaque type so we'll see the pod got created and it got into the crash pack loop that is okay that is nothing related to secret but that is a different problem but yeah so let me see the logs also Yeah, I was doing LS minus LTR say recursively uh, when I was starting the pod. You can see in the etc folder. Okay, so uh, let's not you know stretch this video more more further. So what what you have seen, we have seen all the different different kind of secret and the quick examples on how to use it so that it becomes crystal clear. So I'll you know quickly revise that all these secrets we have seen. And this is really important to know the difference between you know, config map and a secret and how to use it into your uh, use cases according to the uh, according to the requirement. So maybe I'll, I'll take a pause here. If you have any doubts and queries and comments, you can paste into the comment section. Uh, we'll try to take it up into our next you know video. So oh, and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel for similar kind of videos that I'm creating it. And you can follow the playlist and you can see the different different playlists. So we have Grafana playlist. We have open telemetry kubernetes you know efk and a lot of other playlists that is there in the channel so you can see whatever you like and then you can use out of it so okay thanks for now i'll stop it here thank you bye